Here we go. Welcome back, teams. Did everyone have a good time? Yeah. yeah. I hope you gather lots of data because Director Dillingham has some tough questions. Okay, let's go. All right, good luck, everyone. Welcome to Census Challenge, where the brightest minds from around the country gather to test their knowledge of the 2020 Census. I was really nervous for the quiz. Me too. Today, Team Shape Your Future, Team Everyone Counts, and you, students, teachers, and viewers, are facing off for the ultimate prize, the knowledge of why the census matters and how it shapes your community. Teachers, this is a great time to divide your class into teams. We'll pause for a moment so you can keep score in your classrooms. Hey, all of you, make sure you play along with us. If you're watching at home, you can keep track of your own score or see if someone wants to play along with you. Here are the rules. I'll ask a question followed by multiple choice answers. Wait until all the options have been provided before buzzing in. Okay, first question. A complete count of children in the United States is important for A, stores to stock their toy aisles, B, school funding and planning, C, candy manufacturers, D, social media. B, school funding and planning. That's right. Okay, question number two. Geography provides blank to statistical data. Is it A, meaning and context, B, mountains and streams, C, directions, or D, none of the above? A, meaning and context. Wow, you got it. Okay, on to question number three. Data visualization, or the graphical representation of information and data, includes visual elements such as A, charts, B, maps, C, graphs, or D, all of the above. All of the above. Yes, you were paying attention. Okay. Team Everyone Counts currently leads two to one. Question number four. The decennial census is mandated by A, doctors, B, the Declaration of Independence, C, the Constitution, D, federal courts. See the Constitution. That's right. Wow, it's a tie game, folks. Question number five. The Geography Department at the Census Bureau makes maps that show which characteristics? A, income, B, age, C, diversity, D, all of the above. Oh, D, all of the above. That's correct. And that pulls team everyone counts into the lead. Question number six, true or false, participation in the census is required by law. True. That's right. Team Shape Your Future ties it up again. Question number seven, according to the 2010 census, the city with the largest population in the United States was A, New York City, B, Washington, D.C., C, San Francisco, D, Chicago. A, New York City. Yes, you got it. Question number eight. Task of the data visualization team include A, knocking on doors, B, designing, C, responding to data requests, or D, B and C, designing and responding to data requests. D, B and C, designing and responding to data requests. Correct, all tied up. And this is the big moment. We've come to the final question. The census is important for informing how funds are distributed to, you tell me. Hospitals. Fire departments. Schools. Roads. That's all correct. I think that's a tie. Well done, teams. Well done, Royce. You too, Kayla. Everybody wins. It looks like we're out of time, folks. That's it for our 2020 Census Challenge. Thanks so much for joining us for Mission Census, a virtual field trip to the U.S. Census Bureau. And don't forget to... Make sure everyone is counted. And encourage your parents to fill out the census. For more information, visit census.gov forward slash schools. Bye! Bye. It was fun watching.
watching this again. It was. I hope all of you enjoyed watching it with us.